Okay. So this is a script I wrote, and I was inspired in showing this script to you from one of the talks, lighting talks we had on the first session. So somebody showed, I think it was uh, Marcin, an error like this. When you have some sort of code which is heavily templated, and you're trying to do like tuples, nested with other tuples, you get some stuff like that. Uh, you can't read it, but even if it was zoomed in, you couldn't read it anyway, and that's the main problem. So what my script does is it basically goes through these kind of errors and collapses the templates for you. So if you have something like a super nested template, a tuple inside a tuple inside a tuple, you can specify a depth and it's gonna do some text preprocessing to collapse the template to something a little bit easier to read. And the benefit of that is that then you can go up and down this depth because it caches whatever was collapsed, like in this case over here. And as an example, if you have like this super, super nested type, if you go with depth zero, it's gonna show you some, only the top level type. Then if you wanna keep going that, you can do depth one and it's gonna show you the second depth and so on, which is quite useful to understand why this error is happening or what's, up, or what's going on. I've used this with Boost HANA and Boost MPL and it helps when you have this kind of very weird, complicated template errors. Uh, the other thing is you also specify some rejects. So if you're, it's very big and you don't want to see a CD vector all over again, you can elide STD or alias boost HANA to BH and stuff like that, which also helps readability. Or also have some rejects for stuff like forward or lambdas to make them shorter as well. So the way you use it is that you just redirect your output into the script. The script is gonna cache the error message that you get. And then you can run the script again, reprocessing, for example, to play around with the depth without having to recompile your code. So you start with depth zero, you see the top level error, and if you need more context, you can increase the depth and go up and down the uh, template stack, basically. A bunch of configurations, stuff like that, it's just a simple Python 3 script. And in general, the benefit of this is converts this huge mess into that one, and the relative size change between the output of the compiler can be very significant. So if you have, and using Boost HANA, Boost Fusion, or stuff like that, feel free to try it out, it's called Camomilla and it's available on my GitHub. That's it.